Right, every idiot on the internet has a tapache recipe. So here's mine. Step one, get a pineapple. Yeah. Now you see this? You can plant this in some water and most of the time little sprouts will come out and you'll have a pineapple plant. That's not part of the recipe. Cut the skin like a maniac. Doesn't really matter if you get too much of the fruit. I didn't wash this pineapple. How do you even wash a pineapple? Boom! That's the most dodgiest peeled pineapple in the world. Shove it into this here vessel. There is yeast on the skin and that yeast is what's going to ferment it. Finally, he's going to use natural yeast. Well, okay. Now, chop the flesh. You could put that in if you wanted to. But I'm going to eat it instead. My boy loves pineapple as well. I have another video about pineapple beer, which I made out of just pineapple cores. Whack in some pineapple core. For pineapple flavor. You know, chop it up a bit so more flavor comes out. There we go. Everything's been sterilized, except for the pineapple. Now, we're whacking in some brown sugar. In Mexico, they might use something else, but brown sugar works fine for me. Put in whatever spices you like. People are telling me that I should put chili in it. So, I'm gonna get these chilies. Got them from the garden. Did not wash them. Whatever! I'm putting cloves in, because I want cloves in there. Now most people put in a nice cinnamon stick. I can't find my nice cinnamon stick, so I'm putting in ground cinnamon. That's retarded. Hey, welcome to my videos. Subscribe. I'm putting nutmeg in. That's crazy! No Mexicans ever put nutmeg in their tapache. We do it all the time, senor. Alright, well... Oh man, that smells good. Now eat it with a spoon. This is some water, it's nothing spectacular about this water, it's not hot or anything. This is a fermenting drink, so it will have some alcohol in it. I don't think it's usually meant to get you drunk, but we'll see how we go. I'm gonna put on the lid. This lid doesn't fit properly, so air will come out. Quite dark, isn't it? Gonna let this sit someplace to ferment for like, I don't know, a week, see how it goes. Cool. This is day three. It's only just started bubbling. I was actually getting a bit worried about it. But now it's going crazy and you can even hear it. Can you hear that? Cool. Yeah, I'm filming this on the floor. Life's going fine, thank you. It's Wednesday. Uh, this is still kind of brewing. It's been, I guess, 10 days. That's ages, isn't it? Didn't start till about the day three. It's because I didn't add any yeast to it. But it's uh, been fermenting, smells, uh, hmm. Gotta take a second woof, woof. Smells like alcohol, smells like alcohol. I put some ice in this because this has just been sitting in the, on the floor. Now, if anyone's ever seen one of my videos, they know I'm about to ruin the carpet. Not a metaphor. Mm. How does she look? Still got the foam on top from when it was fermenting. Looks pretty great. Does that look great? What's that noise? I don't know what that noise is. I've got one of those cloves in there that I put in. This will be extra clovey. <sighs> Woo! How's it feel? It feels amazing! There's that clove. Let me just put it there on the bed sheet that I use now as a mat. It's great. It's not sweet. It's pineapple-y. It's got those spices. It does even have... I only put two chilies in there, but it does have spice. It's sour. It's, uh... Well, it could be colder, obviously. Just, just put ice in there and it'll, it'll cool down. It's sweet. It's sour. It's spicy. I don't taste much... Bleh. I don't taste much cinnamon or nutmeg. It's awesome! It's fresh! The reason that I didn't bottle this or anything is because I've watched a hundred videos about this. Just uh, because there's so many. And I'm kind of addicted to YouTube. Always have been. Although there was a long time in my life when I lived in a country where YouTube was banned and I feel that I really missed out. I'm trying to make up for it. Got another clove. How many cloves you put in there? At least two. 
Yeah, really good. Man, this is so simple, so easy. Try it yourself. Mm hmm. How sana? Oh. Mmm. And the good thing about peanuts is they go good with tapache. Mm. 